Hi everyone, it's Michael from MDO Video here to talk about washing machine shutoff valves. Okay, so, um, all y'all have a washing machine. I have a washing machine. Everyone has a washing machine in their house, alright? Okay, and you've got washing machine hoses like this. They should be stainless steel washing machine hoses. Um, now, the black rubber ones, if you have them, Get rid of them and put stainless steel ones in. Um, because I'll, I'm going to, uh, let me pause this. And I'm going to go get a, uh, stainless, uh, rubber one. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now, the problem with the stainless ones, the, not the stainless, these black rubber hoses, this is not brass, this piece. And the problem you'll have, is you'll screw this on to your faucet okay well in five years or whenever you have to replace the washing machine you'll go to try to unscrew this and it will not come off because brass and zinc or whatever this metal this will rust onto this this will rust onto this okay it'll rust see this yellow color this is not brass so what'll happen is it'll 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 uh get corroded and you'll get you won't be able to take it off. So um that's a little tip. Now with the stainless ones, these will not you can thread these on and they will not corrode onto here. They won't corrode. Um and you can see the washer, I'll show you what the difference is. See. So that's that. Now back to the uh, shutoffs, the washing machine shutoff. Uh, this here is probably the typical one you'll find, two of these. Uh, this is a three quarter, they come in half inch. But it's just basically a regular hose bib. Uh, that opens up and closes and then there's this one here and I'll show you see if you look inside there and I turn it it goes up that's on it's a chrome plated one like that okay now that's that's pretty good there now you could see the same with this one all right now, my favorite one is this. This is an Arrowhead Brass lead-free boiler drain. Now, use these for washing machine shutoffs because this will it'll never leak and you'll never have to replace it. There's also this kind. Now, this one here is also a boiler drain, but you can use it for a washing machine valve if the pipe coming in comes in from the top okay if it comes in from the ceiling comes down like that and then you take your washing machine hose and you hook it up like that and then it it like that because if you do it like this it'll kink it all right so you don't want to do that i mean you could do it like a boiler joint come out the wall with it and all that but I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, now, if you have an older one. Um, now, another thing with these washing machine valves is if you look, this one here is a lot higher. And it can be tight trying to get in the back of a washing machine valve box. Um, which I'll be doing a video on one tomorrow. Um, but... Um, Tonight, I'm going to be posting another video on how to connect uh, PEX to galvanized, PEX to CPVC, and um, CPVC and PVC to PEX and PVC to galvanized. So, um, those are my upcoming videos. And I'm also going to be doing another um, upcoming video on hose bibs and galvanized pipe. So, I hope, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please re continue to subscribe. And, uh, and 
Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.